what value do I put in your systems and what value do I put into you having the staff kind of contribute and build a system with you? And he asked this question on my how to build systems video. I think first of all, I need to go back to the basics of when you should and you shouldn't focus on systems. Because sometimes I see entrepreneurs, they focus on systems a bit too early. If you watch my uh, millionaire success cycle tra uh, chart, that'll take you through seven steps of how to build a million dollar company. So I'll give you the first four steps first. The other video, the other, the other steps, you can watch my other videos and find out, you can search for it. But the first four steps is attraction, retention, optimization, and systemization. So only when you figure those three things out first, how to attract clients, how to retain clients, how to optimize the, client, uh, the value of each client, then you can systemize it. Now in terms of systemization, every CEO, I think they have their own style. Every leader has their own management style, uh, leadership style. With me, I believe much more in transparency. That there's some managers, some leaders that where they're very secretive about what they do and, and they're the big picture and they just want kind of like dictatorship. They, you do this and you do that. Uh, I don't believe in that myself. I believe in getting the team involved. Although, at the end of the day, the strategies and the decisions, it, it will lie, fall onto my shoulder, but I like to get a team involved because one plus one doesn't just equals two, equals 10. That when you have a good culture, that when your team member, that's why myself, I never use the word employee. I tell people I don't have employees in my company. Every single person I see as a, as a partner, as a member, that's like as an inner circle, that's the way that I view what I do. Um, they're either my mentees or we're business partners. I always see them as an integral part of what I do. I don't never see that as, oh, they're just some employees. Because I think that, personally, I think that mentality is out of date. Okay, nowadays it's not so much, oh, I'm at the top. It's just picture this. I'm at the top and, and you guys are all like in like a pyramid underneath that, you know, that structure. My whole focus, my whole organizational chart, it's more I'm the, <clears throat> I'm the big circle in the middle. That's my brand. But I have all these like circles around me that they all have their own areas of expertise and ideas and how they can make this better. Now, why is this important? Because when you're building system, when you're transparent and I reveal basically weekly with my team. Every single week, we're trying to make what we do a little bit better. It could be 1% better. It could be, hey, here's something that gets repeated again and again. Can we systemize it? Or here's a mistake that we made last time. How can we prevent that in the future? And it's a whole team effort. So it's not becoming, hey, I want to fix this. Let's systemize it. It's not that kind of philosophy. It's the whole culture is, how can we make it better constantly? If we're making a video, how can we make it better next time, better than this time? If we are launching a product, launching a program, we're doing any kind of marketing, how can we tweak that and make it better as time goes on? So very much so, every single week, we're spending time with the team on how to make things better. And then we want to have a, a different elements. If there's something gets, if you do something more than three, four, five, ten times, then you need to ask yourself, okay, is there a way that I can automate it? Is there a way I can systemize it? Is there a way that I could outsource it? So you gotta think about that. Now, when you review with them, uh, I like to just hear the ideas. With any one of my team, they can always come to me and say, hey, Dan, I think we can make that better. I think, so I encourage them to do that. I have that kind of culture versus not like, oh, I'm afraid that I have an idea. I don't want to tell Dan. No, I said, tell me. And if it's good, I'll tell them it's good. If it's not good, I'll give them a little bit of coaching on, okay, I don't think it's a good idea and here's why. So my role in some way, because as a mentor, as a coach, my leadership style is much more like coaching. That I like to coach them, uh, not, just, not just them good enough to do the task, but for them to grow as a person. And that's a big distinction. Where it's not just, hey, I teach you to do this, now you do this task. But I always take the, take the extra time and explain, hey, do you know why I, I want you to do it this way? Do you know why I'm thinking that certain way? Do you see why we need to do it that way? And when you do that, they grow as a person. And they keep growing and growing. So one thing I take pride, one thing I'm very proud of, 
if you have met with, if you've done business with, you've talked to, the people who have actually worked with me, I think they could all tell you that by the time they started with me and, <clears throat> and to where they are now, not just they make more money and all that is all good and more successful, but they have grown tremendously as a person. Spending one year with me, <clears throat> they probably have learned more in the you know, last 10 years of whatever they do. And I take pride in that. I take pride in that. So I think that's the, the sign of a good leader. So that's, that's, that's the answer. Do you do systems? Yes. Do you review it with the team? Yes. How often? I do it once a week. But it's more the idea, the culture, the attitude that everybody works together. They want you to do better because when you do better, everybody does better. When you have that, you don't need to be so formal of, oh, we're going to have a system meeting every two weeks and we're going to have, we're going to do this and we're going to have procedures. Yeah, do that. But they would do that with intention because they want to make it better. And that's a very big difference. And that's how you build the systems. So systems follow leadership. Submit a question below. Make sure it is a good question. I'll take my time. I'll answer it. I'll see what I can do. However, make sure it is a good question. Because a lot of people, sometimes they, I get email every single day. People, they want to mentor by me. They want my help. This is a way for you to do that. But if I'm going to answer your question, take action. Don't waste my time. Don't waste your time. I want to make sure this is productive for both of us. Until next time, I'll see you in my family.